Hey, sub family, welcome back to another video, guys. So today I got the Defender Pro XT OtterBox case, and I'm going to be installing this on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6, aka Z Fold 6. So let's go ahead and get straight to the video, guys. Before we get to the video, I do want to explain something, and I got this Zag screen protector for the Galaxy Z Fold 6, and it had a little bit of issues, guys. So the issues that I was having here is that it was bubbling up around the edges here. What you wanna do to go ahead and get these bubbles out of the screen protector is go ahead and pry this over the screen protector like that and push down just like that. And it will allow the bubbles to come out on the edges here because that's mainly where they were guys. So there was bubbles here, 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 and here. So basically what I did was pushed it under and pushed it under the case all around and lifted this up and pushed it under like that. And it allowed the bubbles to go away, guys. So basically that's what you wanna do in order to get them bubbles out and make sure you use a microfiber cloth. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install the Z Fold 6 into the outer box case here. But what I do wanna show you, I did put a Zag invisible shield glass screen protector on this thing. So we're gonna see how this pairs with this case here. I do wanna mention that OtterBox offers a promo code here for a holster for this phone case. And I had already purchased that for this device. As you can see right there, it does have the promo code. So all you have to do is go on otterbox.com and type in the holster for the Galaxy Z Fold 6, and then it will pop up. And then after that, you will add it to your cart. And then after you add it to the cart, you will scroll down, put the promo code in. They will only make you pay for the shipping, which is like $4.99, guys. So basically, that's all you need to do to go ahead and get this holster. And I will put the website in the description below so you guys can find that easy. Basically, we are presented with the inside of the OtterBox case here. And in the inside right here, you can see that there is some adhesive right here and there is some clear tape that you will have to peel off. And all you got to do to peel that off is go ahead and take your fingers and peel up on that and then peel that off right there. Just like this. And then it will come straight off just like that, guys. What you want to do to install the Z Fold 6 into this outer box case is to open it up just like this. And then you want to put the corners in first at the top there. And then you're going to gently lay it down. You're going to push those corners in at the top. You're going to come to the bottom here. And you're going to do the same thing. And then you're going to go all around and just push it in just like so. And that's basically how you install the phone into the OtterBox case, guys. And this is the front screen protector that I installed from Zag. And as you can see, there's some air bubbles towards the edges here it seems like the otter box case is not that compatible with this zag tempered glass screen protector guys which is a downside basically this is how the otter box looks here so you got otter box right here tell you what this thing gets really dusty though but you got otter box right here embossed into the side of the case and then you have it embossed right here into the back of the case. And it is a very sleek case. It does give it some bulk here, but it's not extreme at all, guys. It has some cutouts up here for the speakers and so and so forth. And it has a cutout for the speaker down here. Now I will say, and then you got the cutout for your power button. You got the volume rocker up and down right here, which clicks very easily, which is nice. And then we're going to go ahead and open this up again. 
And to access your type C charging port here, you just want to push that down just like that. And then you will be able to charge your Z fold six guys. And then you're going to push that back in to protect that from dust. And wow, I actually like how outer box was able to show this bezel right here and it kind of blends in with the case and it makes it look like an all in one unit there, which is really nice. So I finally received the outer box holster here and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. And guys, it's actually really nice. I think that I like this holster a lot. I have absolutely no complaints. This is adjustable. You can move it around like this and you can also use this as a stand for the device just like this. You can take it out like this, open it up and put your phone just like this and use it as a stand here to watch movies or do whatever you would like to do. But there is a lot of reviews on this holster saying that, you know, when they turn upside down, the phone just falls straight out. But as you can see, the phone is not falling out. It's still in there, guys. But I would say if you're going on like a roller coaster or something, guys, I definitely wouldn't recommend you to take this phone with you because it probably would slide out. As you can see, it slid out halfway there. But other than that, I've been carrying it for a few days now and it has not slid out whatsoever. Now, like the older outer box cases, it does have a clip right here that holds it in place. But this one does not. It's basically like a slide in type of situation here and you can kind of see the arrows facing down. So it says insert it like this. And basically that's how you insert the device in here. And it basically works like any other outer box holster guys. So I'm going to show you this holster that I got for my Galaxy Note 10 Plus here. And basically you can see right here where it kind of goes in there and then it clips in place up here. But this one does not have that. But honestly, guys, it does not affect anything whatsoever. But like I said, with this holster, it will hold it and clip it in place and it will not come out. But like I said, the comparison between the two, as you see, it's pretty much the same. The font's bigger on this one and it's smaller on this one, which it looks more sleek on this one to me, guys. I do want to mention again to you guys that this case, as I said before, wasn't as screen protector friendly as I thought it would have been. But now that I worked the corners out downward and it allowed the bubbles to recede out of the screen protector, which is really good. So basically with this screen protector, like I said from the beginning, you have to just push the screen protector up under the case and this will actually lift over the screen protector. And then you just want to take your hand and push the sides up as you push the screen protector down and it will work with it and it will be able to conform how it needs to guys. So that's the end of the video and I hope you liked the video on how to install the Defender Pro XT OtterBox on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 aka Z Fold 6 guys. And I would appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. And I just want to let you guys know, Jesus is King. God bless you guys. And I'll see you all in the next one.